Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're gonna finally replace the lights on the outside of my garage. Finally is right. We painted this house a long time ago and we really should have done it back then, but I don't really know why we didn't. I but don't know. We, didn't. we were busy. <laughs> but we had made a trip to Costco and Steph found these outdoor lights and we bought them and decided to put them up. All right, let's show you how we installed these. Did you hear the acorn? Did you hear it's fall. It's, it's fall, fall y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Included in the box is everything you'll need for installation, including an LED light bulb. To begin, I turned off the electricity to these light fixtures. Then I started to remove the old fixture using a flathead screwdriver to help pry it from the siding. I then removed the wire connectors, keeping the wires separated from each other. I removed the old hardware, and as you can see, the old color of the house was still underneath, so mom painted that with our new house color. Then I hand screwed in the new hardware and adjusted the middle part to be straight. The kit came with wire nuts to connect the wires, but we're going to be using WAGO connectors, which is as easy as putting the corresponding wires into the connector and pushing the orange tab down. Here mom is holding the fixture and I'm connecting the wires. On this side, I'm actually using a WAGO with three slots, so here I'm putting all the white wires together with one wire per slot. This side has double wires because it's wired to the second light that we're gonna install in just a second, and these two lights are controlled with one switch. This is very straightforward, but if you're not comfortable doing this work, be sure to call a licensed electrician and be sure to follow the instructions included with your fixture. Lastly, I'm putting the grounds together. Then I shoved all the wires in and put the fixture on the mounting screws and secured them with the included caps. We turned the power back on and covered the dust to dawn sensor to make sure it worked. We moved on to the other side repeating the same process. One thing we found out was the two mounting screws that are sticking out might need to be adjusted in order for the fixture to sit flush with the wall. We had to shorten the length of the screws by backing them out from the back side, which we did off camera. Try to figure this out before you attach the wires. Then we put the wires together, as you can see very easily with the WAGO connectors, then place the fixture on the two screws. Here you can see the right screw is actually a little bit too long, which is why we had to ultimately back those screws out. With that done, we added the bottom portion, which you just hand screw into place. Following the instructions, we added silicone to the top quarter of the fixture. The bottom section is kept open in case any water needs to escape. The clear silicone was not included with the lights, but what was included was this handy cover for the dust to dawn sensor, so you can test it out during the day. And here they are all done. Here's the before, and here's the after. The black looks great with the hardware we added to the garage a while back. The only thing I wish is that we had done this years ago. What, what we, we learned. learned. Well, we keep learning this lesson over and over and over. Every time we go to Costco, if you see something at Costco, buy, buy it. it right then <laughs> and there. I really wanted these same lights from outside my garage, but we went back and you know what? They weren't there. Nope. Nope. So another thing is we actually had to do some troubleshooting with these lights. So we installed the first one and then the second one we installed and it didn't work. And so we thought it was actually the fixture. So we actually uh, left it up there even though it wasn't working, waited a day, went back, did some more troubleshooting and realized that it wasn't the fixture because we put it on the first, uh, the first spot and that worked. So we knew it wasn't the fixture and what we realized is one of the cables from the first fixture actually had come loose uh, or I didn't put it in correctly, uh, didn't make sure it was secure and so that's why the second fixture wasn't working. Um, so just make sure if you have an issue, take some time, take, you know, take a step back, do some troubleshooting because it might be something different than you think and it was actually a pretty easy fix. 
It was, you know, and actually I'm so glad we put these lights up and I can't believe how easy it was. And I don't know why we didn't do it earlier because they look so great. Yeah, exactly. So I'm really glad we went with the black because it goes really well with the hardware that's already on the garage that we installed actually many, many years ago, if you remember. And by installation, we mean and by the way, if you saw that video, we'll put a link to it below, but we installed these, which are magnetic, and a lot of people commented that they didn't think these would last, or people would steal them. I'm here to say, they are still here. No one yes. has stolen our magnetic <laughs> handles, and I still love them. Yes, I do yeah. too. Yes, they've held up really, really well. We'll put a link to that as well. So thanks for joining us. If you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com. And if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And if you want to say super thanks, you can leave a financial donation down below. And that's it. All right. Thanks for joining us. Bye.